Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Madrybred and these are 7 great tips to improve at Civilization 4 Colonization. 1. Get your population growing fast. To do this you're going to need a lot of food and faith. Have a town or two dedicated to getting tons of food and shipping it all to one city, as the only requirement for a free colonist is having a single city's food storage go above 200, so this can be done just through internal trade. Also, have a city with a firebrand preacher and a church early in the game to keep your European immigration strong, so you'll have plenty of people who are skilled at making manufactured goods. 2. Don't take every founding father that you have offered to you. As tempting as it is to take all of the bonuses, some of them just aren't very good, and spending points on them will ruin your chance to get better founding fathers later. It's better to have a dozen great founding fathers than two dozen mediocre ones. 3. Use your military often. It may be easy to avoid conflicts in most of the game, but to actually beat the game you're going to need to fight your king. His army is always going to be stronger than yours, so you'll need as many Founding Fathers military upgrades as you can get. By winning fights against the natives and the European settlers often, you'll build up tons of military Founding Father points to give yourself the edge you'll need to beat your king's army. Put extra emphasis on getting Founding Fathers who give you bonuses to forced and hill combat. Guerrilla warfare is how you're going to want to win the war. 4. In late game when building your army, keep a veteran soldier working in your city. That way, as your free colonists finish their education at your university, they can choose to be a veteran soldier before you have them take up arms. Veteran soldiers will give you a far better chance against your king than basic militia. 5. Carefully decide what natives you want to befriend. You don't want to fight all of them for the military points, as many of them will be great trade partners, allowing you to rely less on the European market for money. Not only that, but each village lets you teach free colonists how to better harvest natural resources. Farming and fishing training is amazing for getting your colonies off the ground, and native villages are the only way to get colonists who excel at gathering cotton, tobacco, furs, and sugar. 6. If you don't have enough tools to finish a building, but you've already put all the turns of production into it, you can spend money to finish the building by paying the cost of buying the tools in Europe without actually having to travel to Europe and buy the tools. This is extremely useful in the early game when you might not be making tools yet. 7. Rebel Sentiment raises the resource output without increasing the resource input. This alone makes Elder Statesmen incredibly useful through the entire game, as they not only excel at generating Liberty Bells to get political points for Founding Fathers, but the Rebel Sentiment itself will grow your economy. You can hover over any resource output in your city with Rebel Sentiment to see what your actual output is and how much of it is being increased by Rebel Sentiment. Keep in mind that the more citizens live in a city, the more Liberty Bells that city needs to produce to keep raising Rebel Sentiment. Final level production buildings and printing presses are a great way of increasing your Liberty Bell output. If you want to watch more of my tip videos, I'll put them on screen as well as in the description, as well as my playthrough of Civilization IV Colonization as Spain. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips that you want to share, I'd love to have more feedback. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.